we got a lot of money now. Hope not nothing's too expensive from here on out. That's not the way I need to go. Or maybe just to fit with scaling. Oh well, yeah, let's just give you an enemy from a pretty Alright, back to town. Oh, that thing's terrifying. I still hope we're like, into that anyway. Still looks like poo. Well, I mean, yeah, we can't restore that and it just rebuilds the town. But it's an RPG, it's supposed to. But the upside is that the ground is no longer corrupted, which means they can continue about their lives in safety. Growing food, building houses, hiring a cleric. <laughs> I have no idea what smidum is, but I know ver is like vitality, veracity, and all mm. that. Uh, it's like in uh, Super Mario RPG, there's a spell just called Veer. Hmm. Vigor. Vim no, it was Vim and Vigor. Yeah. No, I swear there was a Veer. Like, V-I-R. I swear there was. I could also be mistaken. That's entirely possible. <laughs> you aren't the Warriors of Light, are you? Nope, Warriors of Darkness. Different game. What? <laughs> Actually, the Warriors of Darkness are always usually the good guys, too. Well, yeah, but this world's doing... If we've got Warriors of Light, then that means there's too much darkness. So if the Warriors of Darkness are here, then they're not doing... They're not helping matters. Nobody want to give me clues or anything? And nope, you just gotta go to the only... Physically the only place you can go to. The inn. Exactly. Wait, I don't need to go to the inn. Yeah, everyone's good up. Yeah, what, I like how ever unless like, you want to heal up that twenty HP. Yeah, I can have a potion for that. I do like the fact that now we're like level twenty five and where we have one charge and level eight spells. Uh, want to yeah. stock up on? We can't. No potion shop. Oh, right. Well, in that case, I guess we're going to Newtown. Newtown, new place. The only place that we can go is literally the only other dock we have not. And that's way southeast of the whole... Oop. So for the record, everything that's not in the little enclosed sea is called the Western Sea. That's the only other label on the map. I guess that implies there's another continent with the Eastern Seas. Just like Dragon Quest. That or they were just real lazy making the map. I feel like you're making fun of me. You making fun of me? <laughs> Get a big old cigar. You making fun of me? Yeah, I don't like, like it when like... nobody makes fun of me. I don't like it when nobody makes fun of me. You making fun of me? <laughs> like, that's the only label on the map. That we have, like, UDC or whatever that says. I can't read their weird cursive. Can I see it? And Western Sea. And those are literally the only two C's marked on the map. Yeah, no, it's just the UDC. The UDI. There's, a, there's an E? U-D-I. Oh. I thought you said E-U-D-I. Anyway, we made it. We're over here. This is the I only mean, other place you can If land. I said it was an E, it would have been the same pronunciation anyway. Uh, there is a dock just a little north of here, but that just takes us back to Provoka. It's a new area, so you'd think it's new enemies. It was just trolls and minotaurs, which we saw in the last dungeon. So yeah. We have one option, and it's this. It's the town of Crescent Lake. I'm gonna take a nap. Sorry, I meant to say yes. I know you're expensive, but I do need a snap. How much was it? 200. Oh, jeez. Well, yeah, we're getting further and further from the starting town. Why is that the qualification for how much stuff should cost? Shut is up. The That's is why. the quality of living, the standard of living, just that much higher the further you get from where we started? Shut up. That's why. Do you just always start in, like, the podunk worst income place on the planet? The town was doing fine. I don't know why it would be the worst. What do we got here? Mithril mail. Nope. Nope. Yeah, yeah, we'll get a buckler. Ooh, mithril gloves. There we go. I found it. Okay, so, um... Table of weapons and armor. There are, according to this guide, three new things being sold here. A silver axe... A golden axe, no. Um, a buckler, and a silver gauntlet. Which is probably mithril. 
it, it's mithril. Silver is basically mithril. I mean, he work he works all day, and when he's at home, he's asleep. That sounds like he has to work unbelievably hard in order to keep you guys afloat. In which point, I would be appreciative of the work that he puts in, but also try to find a way to um, help him and the family out so he doesn't have to work that much just to keep you going and living at the standard that you're currently living. No. Don't help him. He's a gambler. Oh, okay. Actually, well, never mind then. <laughs> he, he's ruined their family financially. <laughs> never mind then. I mean, still help him, just help him in a different way. Yes. Over here trying to give it up marital advice to a guy. It's just like I'm making up as a gambler now. That's him, by the way. Oh, did she say he was a gambler? I thought uh, she no, said no, he's I, always at work. No, I made that up. Oh, okay. It's like he's always traveling. Oh, always traveling. In the okay. little time he is home, he sleeps all day. I think he needs to get his priorities straight. Well, why don't you travel with him? I mean, when he's traveling all day, he's probably beat to heck. Someone has to keep home or else somebody else just moves in. That's true. Hey. Hey. It's doing that same thing again. Dang. Well, I'm getting these two spells. Okay, so the white magic available is Soft, Exit, Fog 2, and Inv 2. I hate the fact that Protect is Fog. I mean, it kind of makes sense. I know, but it well, actually it doesn't. Fog, I think, would be the Invasion one. Protect is just when it, like, increases your defense. I'm gonna hold yeah, that. Yeah, that's fair. All the Warriors' defensive armor rating is increased by 12 points. Black magic. Ooh. Black magic! Lit 3. Lit 3, Rub, Cake, and Stun. Thundaga, Death, Quake, and Stun. Here's the thing. I've been waiting for this for a while because I found this out the other day. Alright. Lit 3? Mm -hmm. Thundaga? Mm -hmm. This isn't Thundaga. You might think it's Thundaga because it's called Thundaga now. Okay. So, in the Japanese... The spell name for Thundaga is Sundaga, mm -hmm. just as you think it is. In the original Japanese version for this, this spell was called Sunga, which would translate out to Thunger. Thunder! This spell is called Thunger in the original Japanese version. Hmm. In Final Fantasy III, that's when we finally got Thundaga. Hmm. That was the first time we got Thundaga, but... In the remake for this one in the Japanese version, they still call it Sunga. But here's the thing. This spell would show up again in only, like, two other games. And one of them technically is, like, another game, but that's because it's the Dissidia spin-off things. It would show up as a special ability of one of the, um, the summons from 12. Hmm. It's the one that starts with an A and has a bunch of M's in there. It's like, Armadurkri! His ability is actually called Thunger in the original. It's just called Thundaga over here. And it's also Garland's special abilities from the Dissidia things, where he casts Thunger instead. Hmm. But yeah, it's called Thundaga now, just to keep in line with everything. But originally, this was called Thunger. Hmm. That's weird, yo. I know, I've been waiting on that for a while. And now I don't have enough money to buy any new spells. But I, I got Thundaga. I still love that the black magic spell is called Rub. Yeah. I'm gonna rub you out. So, so new town, new people to talk to, new um, stuff to buy, which we did. Hey, if we remember, in the beginning of the game, they said a great sage was here, but then he went to some place where there was a crescent. Ooh, and we're at Crescent Lake. This hey, is the guy. Lucan. That's interesting. Cool. Okay. Yeah, we got him right here. Well, it's weird they call them Fiends of Chaos for some reason. Yeah, uh, I think we beat up one of them. Yeah, we did that once. Past and present. Oh, uh, so that's why you guys got no ports up there. 
Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Not no more, yeah. Yeah, not anymore. Sounds like a problem. <gasps> okay, so we more just secrets. need Okay, time to go beat up four dudes. Mount Golg. Hey, I recognize that name. Come no further. <laughs> I'm eating. <laughs> Oh, poked him. <laughs> I was gonna do that next. <laughs> I could. Yeah, we did. We did that thing. Oh, okay, that's bad. Dang it. But then that's good. But then that's bad. <laughs> Can I go now? <laughs> A canoe! This, this seat's four, right? It seat's five. Oh, sweet. You coming along? <laughs> no, no, just keep going. Okay, so this is neat, because, like, up until now, we've kind of just been wandering around doing our hero thing. But it wasn't until we beat Lich, who was one of the four fiends. I'm part of the trees now. <sighs> anyway. It wasn't until we beat up Lich, who was one of the four fiends, like... That was a big deal. And for the most part, the four fiends are just kind of around doing their jam, doing whatever it is that they do, but, like, Lich goes down and they're like, Oh, snap! Maybe we should worry about these guys. Well, I mean, they just said that the Fiend of Fire wasn't supposed to wake up for another 200 years, but then Lich fell and the Fiend of Fire was like, Who did that? What the crap are you guys doing up there? I will come over there and light you all on fire. So yeah, now we've uh, drawn the ire of the four fiends. Well, three fiends. Because <laughs> one of them's dead. Which is, you know, the whole reason we have their ire. Yes, very much so. But this also opens us up into a... And it makes sense why the Lich was such a difficult fight. That was the intro to a much larger game. Anyway, probably a good idea to take a break for now. We've done quite a bit today. I mean, we killed one of the elemental fiends. Yeah, that sounds so, like So, and we got a canoe that I can do this now. Oh, yeah! Isn't that mesmerizing, hey, wait, there's folks? only one person in that canoe. What the heck? Oh, no, new battles. <gasps> a Neo Chu. Oh, heck. Um, are you on this list? Probably on the world map. Dang it. No, because no, that's... No, because these are... Oh, yeah, because that's like... That's enemies for later. Dang it. Nope, go forward. You gotta go for it, it's one of those, like, the map enemy show up later in the chapter. Uh, nope, that's keep not going. It. Outer world enemies. Is that them down there? Yeah, that's them down there. Yeah, that may be the Ocho. It's not the Ocho, and Ocho shows up later. This is a Neocho. Oh, I remember... I remember this one because of the joke from one video I saw. These are called Nachos in the original. Because <laughs> they were trying to, like... Splice in the Neo Cho thing. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna go back because I remember a section with like ocean enemies and a subsection for like river enemies. Yeah, never mind, I don't see Jack. Remember those giants we fought? I see the Ocho. Yeah. And they gave like a bunch of experience. We killed one the Ocho. Look how much experience it gave everyone. Ooh. Anyway. I'm gonna look in the back. <laughs> Starts with an N, so. Naocho. Yeah, Naocho. Oh, holy crap, really? Page 59? Gonna put him all the way here? Oh no, it ain't that guy. No, that's him. That guy did not have 344 HP. It felt like it. Not when the regular one is 208. No, well, unless we just got spontaneously got into a fight with the Super Ocho. No, we, the, he shows up here. Okay. Yeah, no, like he likes to show up here a lot. I remember that. Those two also like to show up as well. So. That dang. Yeah. 344 HP, 35 to 70 AP. They po you. 3189 experience, 500G. 
probably buy a bunch of potions, or remedies now too, since we can probably afford those. But we'll deal with that next time. Because next time we go to a volcano. Oh boy. Or go to an ice cave, probably volcano first. You know. 